right here we are hole three guys and I really have no idea what hole this is from the picture I was trying to look at the picture and I'm just like nope I have no idea what this is so not sure the shot that we're gonna go here we'll just take a look once we actually see this hole I don't even know what course this is I, I don't know if it's Santa Ventura it might be uh, might be Sakura Hills I'm thinking I'm just not sure okay so this is one of the earliest holes in the game you can see what my opponent has um, you know, I, I definitely am going to recommend this Power 5 option. With this straight wind, one of the things that you'll probably want to do is kind of land it on the front of the fairway, similar to what you see my opponent doing. Let me just go ahead and throw my grid on here. A little bit easier for precision aiming. Alternatively, you can use the take shot button if you don't have a grid. Or it's relatively the same. This just lets me do it a little bit quicker. I'm a pretty slow player. So I prefer not to rush as much. So let's take a look. Definitely going to try to put this ball guide kind of through the hole a little bit. I'm sure this is going to be, you can see it straight into the wind. It's going to be an extra adjustment. I'm thinking of moving just somewhere, just for a starter, somewhere in the neighborhood of at least 15 to 16 rings. Hopefully I can move that many rings. Let's just go 16 this time. Try this out. More so than anything, this has to do with kind of wind intensity as to why you need to go so much. There's a little bit of elevation, but it's not very much. So here you can see it comes in. Give myself a really good chance. And I just missed. That would have been nice to start off eagle, eagle, eagle there. Keep in mind that wind effect is going to kind of make that ball cut just a little bit harder left so if you saw that my ball guide was offset a little bit to the right that's primarily the reason why and as i mentioned it's wind intensity as to why i'm going so many rings there if i was to punch that through the notebook tool here and i was up here towards 90 90 you know it, it basically just gives you the value of 16.3 which is about where i went uh, as i mentioned there's a little bit of elevation I may have needed to go maybe about an extra ring, an extra half of a ring, somewhere in there, because it did look like it landed just a touch short. And you can see the effects that that gives me is it would have, uh, you know, just needed to go just a little bit more. I went about 16 right on, and I believe, you know, maybe 16 and a half there would have been ideal, or 16, 17, you know, somewhere around an extra yard. Because it looks like I landed just a hint short. Now let's take a look at this. I remember this being kind of right at Min Club. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one for the shootout. It's a very tough wind angle. If it would have been straight in, if it would have been a little bit more in the face, it would have been a little bit easier. But we have played that hole in the past, and I should be should be good to go. Um, you want typically on that shootout you do play very close to the mid club line so 1.3 is pretty good there per ring on a QB for example so if my wind would have been a 10 or a 12 let, or if my wind's a 13 I would go 10 rings for example just to keep it really simple so good luck there and I'll see you guys on four momentarily